COSA, the Central Ontario Standard Bread Association, proudly serving Ontario horse people with integrity and accountability. Collaborative, supportive, helping to ensure a vibrant harness racing industry, lifetime membership is free and there are many benefits. Become a new member today. COSA, representing the interests of horse people racing at Ontario racetracks. To find out more, visit COSAonline.com. Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Raceway at Western Fair District, London, Ontario's Half Mount Harness Racing Action. Track announcer Shannon Sugar Doyle with you, setting up the action for this evening. 11 races and uh, beautiful, beautiful fall weather conditions here in the Forest City of Ontario. And uh, what a weekend, up and over 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, get out for a game of golf with a couple of friends here well known around these uh, parts uh, Greg Blanchard and uh, Alex the bartender we hit the yeah we hit the fairways on Saturday afternoon it was beautiful t-shirts and shorts in November for golf unbelievable so we've got live harness racing featured tonight another fabulous day I believe when I checked the temperature coming in it was 21 uh, Celsius around 68 Fahrenheit fast and dry conditions and again 11 races on tap for tonight HPI of course picks up all 11 TVG with us in the early going to start up the program and to start things up we've got the carryover in effect for the pick five play that is a go to wager to start things off each and every evening the HPI bet pick five play three thousand dollars plus in carryover money to add to that race one pick five pool we've guaranteed it at the fifteen thousand dollars low take of course and it's a 20 cent minimum wager so we'll set up that ticket here in race number one uh, i've got changes here that uh, well I can tell you Scott Coulter has booked off this evening. No Scott Coulter for the drives tonight in London. When I get those driver changes, I will update you uh, with those. Uh, Coulter was listed on seven. Alvin Brickrock there in the opener. For me, uh, the opening lag of this pick five, I got to go to the four. Party in the shadows, even money on the morning line. Daryl Teeson's been doing some pretty good things here in uh, recent weeks. Uh, he gets the call on the favorite. Party in the Shadows. This one was an easy gate to wire winner last time out. Showed a back half 58 and 3 as the odds on favorite. If you look through the program lines, there's nothing at all showing back halves in there in 58 over London. So for me, the key to this pick five starting up number four, Party in the Shadows and Teeson there in the opener. Race number two. Uh, went outside to the six betters victory, coming off a win in 57 and 3 over London. Number seven, Cranky's Boy. Uh, made front after parking through the quarter 28 and change. Mark St. Louis was on board. He stays on the drive. Shows a win in 56 and 3 last time out. He just has to overcome that outside post. Then in race three, it gets a little tougher. A group of trotters. Group of trotters for race three, and it's where I'm suggesting maybe the all button will uh, look good in play there for the third race deep in four in race number four went five deep in there over to race number five for me it's either the one needlecrest or the five first car both coming off impressive victories here in london needlecrest actually tries to make it four in a row that rail advantage for the added distance in race five if you want to play along with this pick five ticket suggestion 32 dollars even on the 20 cent wager Race four will be starting up the SK Realty pick four play. And again, races four and five, I'm going to stay with the same horses. Race six, uh, it's the return of Adore Him, gets that rail to work with. Number six, Validus Deo. Validus Deo looks like a key player there for Team St. Louis in the preferred three event. Uh, definitely one to factor into uh, leg three of the early pick four. Went to the one, seven, and eight, Mall Peen Hammer. He's got a two-race win streak there for Ryan Clements. Daryl Teeson with the catch-driving assignment tonight. 
must overcome an outside post. Number one, Butte Courage, was a winner last time out for the St. Louis team. And number eight, Dashiki, is going to follow out the inside speed from that trailing spot for Bill Leon. One, seven, and eight for me to complete the early pick four. $12 even on a 20 cent play. We did add the second pick five play on the night. It will start up in race number six. Race number six to begin a late pick five. I get looking at it like this, and uh, yeah, it's kind of half a Christmas tree sort of thing. You split a Christmas tree right down the middle, and that's pretty much what you're looking at. My key play for this late pick five, it's number three, Foos Girl, uh, in race number 10. Uh, gets a, the same post she had last time out. Another one that shows some good back half speed. Uh, she was good to go last time out. I see the same kind of thing for her tonight. Foos Girl, my key in race number 10 for a late pick five. 28.80 we're in for on the 20 cent wager. The late pick four does start up in race number eight. Covers the last four races of our program. And again, it's all going to hinge on Foos Girl there in race number 10. She is a key player for me. I believe I pegged her as my best bet on tonight's card as well. $19.20 on tonight's late pick four play. My best long shot idea. Yeah, went to that trotting event, race number three, where it appears to be wide open. I was thinking the all button was looking good for leg three of the early pick five. But uh, yeah, my long shot play, I got looking at one junior. I went back to watch some replays as well. Uh, nothing happening last time out. Never got a chance to race, really. The start before that was a decent third. And tonight, Mark St. Louis, first time ever. I went back through every program line for Junior throughout his career. Uh, this uh, five-year-old son of Senator Hall will get Mark St. Louis, first time ever in the sulky tonight. Beware of number one Junior. Eight to one in the morning line. That's why I pegged him as a long shot play. I'm not quite sure you'll get that kind of value come post time with first time Mark on board. Best bets. Let's do the best bets segment then for tonight's card. Tony Elliott, he's been on fire with his best bets this season. He's going to chase after. Uh, number seven, Cranky's boy in race number two tonight. He romped last time, says Tony. A tougher post to overcome indeed. But uh, Cranky's boy with that 56-3 and three win last time out uh, makes him a serious factor there in race number two. For Lou Sorella, the hashtag Lou knows. He's going up to race number seven, and he's going to back Butte Courage with that rail advantage. They may have to catch him, says Lou, on Butte Courage in race seven. A couple of more best bets here. Continuing on, Terry Wilson went to race nine. Tonight's ninth race, another outside post starter here for a best bet selection, Firebee. An impressive winner last week, says Terry. She could repeat, getting some pretty good value right. She was impressive for Taylor Fritz. Uh, Colin Kelly stays on the drive and again must overcome that outside post. And as I mentioned, my key play for a late pick five and a late pick four, it's going to be the three, Foo's girl. Uh, she was a very sharp last time out, a very sharp effort in the latest nice back half. A likely player again tonight in race number 10, number three, Foo's girl. My best bet selection on this evening's card. All righty. So all 11 races tonight featured on HBI TVG with us in the early going. We'll get a nice boost in uh, wagering there from that pick five carryover and again with TVG joining us in the early going. Uh, we're going to get off to a great beginning here in London. Time now to uh, reflect on one of the most popular warriors on the racetrack here in Ontario in recent years. We're talking about Button Up. Uh, Button Up uh, recently passed away. A good word uh, last week from owner, trainer, Mark Horner. Uh, we're we're, we're going to remember Button Up uh, this evening and going forward. Uh, passed away at the age of 17. 49 lifetime wins. Lifetime earnings of $824,000 plus. Owned and trained throughout his career by Mark Horner. Uh, driven uh, pretty much exclusively by brother Mike. Uh, Button's caretaker for his entire life was Sue McKnight, and uh, she played a big role in the, the success of uh, Button Up. Uh, you go back to 2005, his Battle of Waterloo victory, where he won by seven lengths over Impeccable and Spokesman, a winner of many preferred events here in uh, London. 
Uh, and as mentioned, uh, uh, Mark Horner, very proud of this animal. He was bred by Bill Andrew and Fred Krushelnicki out of Alberta and uh, made his way to the Mark Horner stable. Um, button up. He loved Grand River Raceway. It's where he took his life best as a, a four-year-old uh, pacing there in, uh, I believe it was 52, around there, 52 on Grand River, half mother as a four-year-old for his life best. Horner says button up was the team captain for the Horner stable over many years. And uh, very proud to add that uh, Button Up was undefeated on Industry Day. Uh, dating back to his battle victory in 2005, then uh, won preferred events there in 2007, 2010, 2012. 50% of his 341 career starts, he finished in the top three. So from all of us at the raceway, our sincere condolences to the connections of the late Button Up. That's for uh, the connections and all of his fans, and he had many. Uh, again, uh, Button Up passing away here recently in Ontario, and we'll close things out now with his final career victory. And we go back to five years ago this month. It was November 2015 here in London where he would pick up his final career victory. So that's how we're going to finish up this uh, tribute for one of the greatest warriors on the racetrack through all of Ontario over a number of years. And again, for the Horners and all of those that uh, watched and, uh, you know, cheered on, wagered on, uh, buttoned up, we're all thinking of you. So we'll close it out with this uh, final career victory here in London. Enjoy this replay of Button Up and enjoy your evening with the horses here at the raceway. Gate picking up speed. Here they come. And there they go, leaving out Jack Stan against Button Up. Button Up against Jack Stan. One, two into the first turn. Backed off into third was Kendall Gustaf. It will be Button Up and Horner setting up shop here. Ducking in for second, Jack Stan, Kendall Gustaf is all alone in third. Derby Dillon, the mid-pack for Kendall Gustaf. Gus thought about it there. He was making a move. He thought better of it. He went back to the pylons at a third. Button up will cut it, 27-4. and four. The opening quarter for this 12-year-old son of Northern Luck. Button up by two. Jack Stan second. And it's another two lengths to Kendall Gustav. He's thinking about it once again in third. Derby Dillon trying to force his hand from fourth, and he's doing so. He has flushed out Gus. Kendall Gustav now to go first up against Button up. Jack Stan is pocket riding. Derby Dillon outside there in fourth. Following that cover in fifth was Bally. Staying inside was Lawman, Rain, and the trailer, Mont Monster in law. 56 and 4 was the halftime. Button up is still the one. Kendall Gustaf is trying to win it right now. He's being asked to pick it up as they move on by the 5 8s. Button up by a length. Kendall Gustaf has come to his wheel now. Jack Stan racing at a third. Derby Dillon going three off the lead in fourth. Fifth and on the in for Lom and Rain. Nothing yet from Bali. And still last was Monster in law. 125 for the old campaigner. Button up. He just tossed a 28 and one third quarter at them. Button up is looking like a track star. Kendall Gustav came calling. He's still second on the outside. Jack Stan is third. Derby Dillon fanning wide for the stretch drive. Button up on a 16th pole, still leading here. Kendall Gustav and Derby Dillon. This is button up for win number 49. Team Horner, second best. Kendall Gustav, Derby Dillon third. Jack Stan. And finishing fourth. What a trip for the old horse. Button up. 154 and one. Did it all by himself.